Rapper Trick Daddy is coming under fire over comments he made about Beyonce. Say it isn't so. Trick Daddy was speaking on the social media site Clubhouse about Beyonce's vocal abilities and had less than flattering things to say. Listen. Beyonce ain't trying to give back the music and that. Beyonce don't write music and Betty can sing her so Beyonce can't sing. Huh. <laughs> That prompted Beyonce's beehive to trash his restaurant online. Many giving it a one-star review. Some wrote, quote, the service was so bad and the food was so subpar they can't even sing. And, quote, the food was appalling. The lemonade, on the other hand, was divine. Okay, that's all code, obviously. Trick Daddy has responded to the beehive backlash, saying he was just giving his opinion and that he uh, grew up with roaches and is more afraid of roaches than bees. And, and Sam, I did some investigating, so I know what he, he meant by that. Oh. Did you? Well, yes. What, it, what he meant by the there's uh, he's more afraid of roaches than bees is people went on their Yelp review and said that there's roaches in the food. Wow. And this I'm was kidding. a soul food restaurant that I'm assuming is black owned That's with a lot so of black patrons. Up. And they dropped their food rating down to a 2.6. I'm assuming is out of five. This place has barely been open two weeks. And, you know, when we start talking about wanting to trash somebody's business, I know it's easy to jump on oh, part of the Bay Hive or on part of Joe Rogan's crew or anybody that's got a large file, Howard Stern, whatever. You can really just destroy somebody's livelihood yes. and they move on. I've had it happen to comic friends of mine that have gone on podcasts, said something, trying to be controversial or funny, missed with the joke, and all of a sudden, 500 people go and give their album a one-star rating horrible. so it drops in on, on, on Amazon and you can't find that it. That should be illegal. And it's like, and I know I'm saying that, something. That's somebody's business. No, that should be yeah. illegal. And I know that I'll probably get flack for that. But as a business owner myself, if people went after our business, I think of my husband, because that's really his blood, sweat, and tears of 15 years. And then you're just going to take that away overnight because you're mad because he said something about. Not even overnight, Sam, in 30 minutes. That is so wrong. Yeah, and that's the that's cancel culture, right? Not necessarily mm -hmm. in this aspect. It is. But people come for your job and they don't see the repercussions of now this restaurant's gone. Now your job is gone. Now you can't that feed your family. has gone. The employees. Because you you made an opinion about your favorite artist? That's ridiculous. I, I know it's right? also wrong, but that's also free speech. That's also allowing people, that's the consumers. Should, not when to, you take down someone's business. I hear you, because be it's different. a swarm and that's bullying and that's a tactic. But I do have to say that people who can fight back with that in terms of numbers, that's also a freedom of speech issue. Wow, it's a nuanced conversation for sure.